oh, oh, hang on. <laughs> Sorry about that. I, I hit the wrong thing, but this still works out because I wanted to say hello and uh, welcome everybody. How are y'all doing? Everybody doing all right? Yay! <laughs> hello Rev, hello Super Eyes. Uh, and uh, just hello to everyone who is here. I, I really appreciate uh, you guys, uh, and especially those who came from Ergos. Uh, appreciate that you followed along into here as well. Yeah, Dragonkin! Woohoo! <laughs> uh, but let's go ahead and continue with our story. So as you may recall, when Ergo was telling his story, he mentioned that he's a crow god and that he's from another world and I'm a part of that world. So let's learn a little bit more, shall we? Oh, is this any better? We just moved the mic closer. <laughs> That's right, crow and lore time. All right, and you think we're good? All right, let's do it. There was once a girl named Gruzzy who lived a quiet life in a village by the river. But everything changed when the fire demon king attacked. The realm burned as his armies conquered kingdom after kingdom. The wizards of the lands believed that only a dragon could defeat him, but no dragons had been seen for an age. One wizard had a single vial of blood from a water dragon, but they would need time, or they would need to find someone compatible with it. People from across the land were tested, and Grezzy was eventually found to be completely compatible with it. Eager to save her home, she accepted the procedure and was injected with the dragon blood, transforming her and granting her immense power. She tore through the armies of demons and finally confronted their king in the castle he had claimed as his own. In a fierce battle, she defeated him and brought an end to his reign of terror. As a reward, she was granted the castle and the lands around it. To someone like her, who had grown up in an ordinary village, this seemed like an incredible gift at first. But she soon found that living in a broken down castle surrounded by burnt wastelands was a lonely existence. She set out from the castle on a journey, but found herself shunned by the people she had saved. They feared her destructive powers, as if they thought she would be the next demon to terrorize the land. Running away into a forest, she encountered the God of Crows. She may have seemed a little odd at first, but that was okay, because he was a little odd too. Since, since she had nowhere to go, he let her stay with him, and they became good friends. And eventually, they became more than that, as they grew closer and realized that they loved each other. The two of them discovered a magic that would allow them to visit other worlds. They set out for another place where they could meet new people and discover new things. And here they are. And uh, like Ergo said in the other one, we didn't have a, an ending uh, slide. So forget, uh, so uh, imagine that there is a uh, a, a fin. <laughs> there is a slide that says fin. <laughs> um, and uh, thank you. Thank you, everybody. And also, oh my goodness, I, I didn't hear any of the like gifting going on, so I just realized that there were gifts happening. Uh, uh, here, go to the chatting screen. Go to the chatting screen? Hang on. Yeah, because uh, I didn't have the alert box on the, on the pages. Okay. Um... But yeah, no, I, I didn't, huh? I'll go ahead and... Here, yeah. 
Ergo helps a lot with the technical stuff. But, uh, but I wanted to say thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much to everybody uh, who is subbing or is being gifted subs. So let, let me go through real quick. So, oh, Cronus! Cronus, you got a, you got a sub! Yay! Oh, and thank you. I'm glad that you, you like the lore, Misere. And uh, Crowen, thank you for the compliments. Much appreciated. Aw, and thank you, Nika. I'm glad that you uh, were able to come back from class to hear the rest of the lore. Or at least some of it. So thank you. And let's see. Oh, and Crowen, you got gifted a sub, I just noticed. So yay! Aw, oh, this is rad. Awesome, awesome, guys. And thank you, Super Eyes. Much appreciated. Uh, ergo, like I said, he did all the writing, uh, and then I did I did the art stuff. So, so yes, teamwork. Teamwork is good. Um, oh. And yeah, there we go. I was gonna say I didn't hear the wow. Yay! Oh God, there it is. Oh God. <laughs> Yay! Hold on. That's right. It's, double it's, trouble, indeed. I, I messed up. It's not on the. It's all good. Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I'm a donkey. <laughs> it's okay. Donkey's my favorite character from Shrek. Speaking of which, uh, while Ergo was clicking, who's who's everyone's favorite character in uh, Shrek? <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you, uh, Rev uh, Revenance, for uh, for gifting a sub. And then somebody just oh, followed. Sorry. <laughs> oh, and Cronus, the oh, that's so sweet. Who knows? You never know. Oh my gosh. Uh, thank you, Kotaru. Uh, thank you for, for gifting a sub. Hype train. Choo choo. <laughs> and Cronus, I agree. I also relate to Donkey. A hundred percent. I do. I, I never stop talking. Uh, talking. Um, so it looks like a, oh gosh, oh gosh, Crowen. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for uh for gifting another sub. And and thank you, Nika, for the bits. Donkey! <laughs> uh, let's see. Donkey is yours is your favorite. Uh and then Super Eyes, I'll give you a hint. Some of you may die, but that's a <laughs> some of you may die, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. Uh Farquad. <laughs> I do love um how his name basically just sounds like a curse, you know, <laughs> like if you, if you pay attention to how to say it, it really does. Um, but I'm glad that you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for, for coming to that part. Uh, Farquad. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. I, I want to say it, but I won't, I won't, I'll, I'll be, I'll try to stay, say so. Um, and then I just noticed, uh, gray followed. Thank you, gray, uh, for the follow much appreciate it. Uh, and in just a moment, we're going to be doing the presentation as well. So just give me a moment to get that set up. I say me, but Ergo is actually the one clicking because he knows I'm terrible. That's <laughs> fine. It's just because I'm... It is because you're the crow yeah. god and you've, you've learned all these, all these things. You've learned so much. That's right. It's presentation time, everybody. So uh, get your number two pencils out and uh, start taking some notes. All right. Here we go. There will not be a test after this. It just sounds more fun. Okay, so the rules uh, opens up the Fairly Odd Parents de Rules uh, book. In general, be chill and polite. Uh, obviously, no discrimination or hate speech of any kind. We see that, and it's like, no, you out. Bye bye. Um, and uh, please keep things mostly family friendly. Uh, just like Ergo said, I also have a mouth of a sailor, so I. I, I will say many a curse word, uh, although I have been very hesitant to say it on stream some days. I, I think there are other days where I'm just more uh, susceptible to saying, fuck, but uh, other days I'm not. So, <laughs> but yeah, just as long as we can keep it family friendly, then that's good. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to get Oh, you, oh, it's happening to you? That's what happened yeah. to me last time, too. <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. I appreciate you trying, though. Um, and then uh, also, of course, no backseat gaming unless requested. I could not find my way out of a paper bag, even with a 
like directions on a map. I, I am horrible. Um, so unless I ask, please, <laughs> please don't try to, you know, although there's always, of course, ways to say it. If you're polite about saying it, if I'm like lost, then that's one thing. Um, but if I've, if it's, the, if it's the first time I've played a game, especially, uh, let me try to figure it out first and then come to my rescue because I, I will probably need it. <laughs> uh, and super eyes. Yes, you are totally wholesome. I buy that for now. Um, and then of course, no spoilers, uh, which this is always funny to me because I am the first one to spoil myself on anything. I actually spoiled myself, um, what, before I finished watching Squid Game, I intentionally read the entire Wikipedia article or like whatever it was on all the episodes because I wanted to know before going into it, what happened. Um, because especially with that kind of show, I just want to know. Uh, I'm terrified otherwise. I'm like, I need to know. I need to know. Um, yeah, exactly. And that is very true, Crowan. It has to be you. You know, you as a person, if you're spoiling yourself, that that's one thing. And, and that's exactly it. I don't mind spoiling myself on things, but I feel horrible when other people get intentionally spoiled or unintentionally spoiled. Um, which actually going back to the thing with uh, Squid Game, I asked Ergo immediately after I read it, I was like, do you want to know anything? Or do you not want to know anything at all before we continue watching? And uh, he kept telling me no. And he, he did finally say, okay, tell me one thing. Does this one person do this thing? And I said, yes. And then he was like, okay. <laughs> but yeah, only if you, well, again, even if you ask on a uh, stream, I probably wouldn't say just in case there's somebody else on stream who doesn't want to hear. Um, but yeah, so again, just no spoils, just to be safe. Um, and then Chrome, what you're saying? Also, I do the, enjoy the pleasant voice. Aw, of the, the one Grizzly acapella. And then hang on, but are you forgetting to turn on BGM? Just checking. Oh. We're going to find out. We good now? We good? We good now? Yay! The vibes! That's what we want. We want the vibes. All right. Okay, that's good. That's good. Um, well, thank you. Thank you for letting us know, Crow, and I really appreciate that. I, I know it's a thing that all of us VTubers feel. We're like, please just tell us. Please tell us the thing. <laughs> we, we need to know. Uh, but let's go ahead and continue. So those are just the basic rules. Uh, next. So, who am I? Well, as you saw, I am Grizzy. I'm Grizzy the Dragon Lady. You can just call me Grizzy. Totally fine. I mean, I'll answer to the Dragon Lady, uh, but uh, Grizzy is what I usually will go by. And uh, my age, time is meaningless, really. We're all in a void, so, eh, you know. My birthday is uh, May 27th, so I know Ergo was mentioning that he is not very much an Aries, even though he's an Aries. And uh, I am very much, uh, even though I'm not like hugely into the uh, the sign stuff, I I am a Gemini. I'm a Gemini, so you know, t t t twin stuff. Woo! <laughs> and uh, thank you for turning it down, Ergo. Appreciate it. Um, and then so my height, I am five foot. I was once told five foot three quarters of an inch. But I don't believe the three quarters of an inch or just really care. So I'm five foot. Uh, so I am very short. Uh, I like a lot of things. And uh, I love drawing, anime, love food. Oh my God, do I love food. I love to eat so much. I can't, I can't even, <laughs> I can't even articulate just how much I enjoy food. Um, and Gray, what were you saying? Uh, two of your siblings are Gemini? Very nice. Very cool. And thank you, Crowan. Thank you. I, I, I like my likes, too. I, I like to think they're cool. Um, and then, of course, I, I absolutely like Ergo, I guess. You know? And I very much love dogs. I like cats, too. Don't get me wrong. But I love dogs. I love dogs. They are so cute. Hang on, which one is it? Oh, nope, not that one. I love dogs. They're so cute. <laughs> All right. So let's see. Let's go to the next one. 
Ah, yeah, some favorite video games. All right, so here's the stuff. Here's the stuff. I, I've i played a lot of video games, but not as many as Ergo. Uh, so I, I will be honest about that. And when sitting down to write this, I was having trouble remembering what games. I, then I'm like, which games are like my favorites? So I, I, if I randomly think of one while I'm saying this, I'll shout it out. Uh, but for now, this is the working list. And uh, yes, yes, Crow and Sly Cooper, you haven't heard of it in forever. Oh, and thank you, uh, Leary or Lyrie. Uh, I really appreciate the follow. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh, and Crow, and you said that Ergo has played every game that you have, and so and same for you, Cronus. Very nice. No wonder you guys get along so well. That is that is awesome. Um, but yeah, like Crow had mentioned, Sly Cooper, Thievius Raccoonus is one of my all-time favorite games. Um, simply because it it it's very nostalgic for me. I, I played this game when I was very young, and I started with the second game. The second game is my absolute personal favorite in the series. The first game, in my honest opinion, was not fun for me, because it was one of those you get hit once and you die, and I absolutely hated that, because I'm really bad at video games. So I was like, no! <laughs> Um, but it is still good. It's a quality game. It's quality. I love the story in the Sly Cooper series. Uh, so yeah, I highly recommend checking it out if you've not played it. And then, oh, <laughs> Misery sees uh, Danganronpa. And thank you, Rev. I appreciate that you uh, also noticed the quality. Thank you. Uh, and that you notice how cultured I am. Uh, yes, no, same, Crowen. Same. So much fun with uh, Thebius Raccoonus. So much fun with Sly. Uh, I, I don't know who my favorite character is, but I feel like it would probably have to be Sly. Like, I know loving the main character is pretty basic, but Sly's like, he's a really fun character. I like all of them, but he's a cool character. And then of course, Nino Kuni is on here. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. Uh, for those of you guys who've been watching the playthrough uh, of me going through it again, uh, you know that I've expressed my, my love for this game and it's so good. It is so good. I highly recommend that you play it for yourself, whether you've been watching the stream or or you haven't like seen a single bit of it. It, it is so much fun. The artwork that Studio Ghibli does for it is just mwah, S tier. It is so good, uh, animation wise, story wise, uh, and just gameplay wise. I, I just enjoy it. I enjoy it every time I sit down to play it. I can't gush about it enough. Uh, and then of course, Danganronpa. As, uh, as Ergo said, there are numerous ways to uh, say Danganronpa wrong, and uh, <laughs> I also am fond of the uh, Dang It Ron Paul. Um, Dongan, what is the other one? Dongan Diddles or something? <laughs> I, I forget what it is. But there, there's a lot of really weird ways to say Danganronpa, uh, and, and I love them all. Danganronpa 2 is my absolute favorite so far of what I've played. Uh, Danganronpa. <laughs> Yes, yes, Crowen, yes. And oh, thank you. I'm glad that you see a lot of games that you like, Leary. Thank you. Um, so I, I do love all the Danganronpa games that I've played, or at least seen of, which I've seen like the first three. Uh, well, actually, I don't even know if there's... Ergo, are there more? Are there more than three? Or is it's just three, game. right? Oh, the spinoff. Okay, that's what Dang. I was thinking. <laughs> Dang it, Grandpa. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes, I love it. I love it. That might actually be my new favorite is Dang Grandpa. <laughs> but yes, Dang Grandpa 2, <laughs> uh, Electric Boogaloo, is my all-time favorite. I love Gundam Tanaka! He is the absolute best character. Uh, I love the hamsters, and I just love Gundam. And his uh, voice actor does Twitch streaming, so uh, check him out. It's pretty cool. Animal Crossing New Horizons, very different game than Danganronpa, <laughs> very different kind of game. Uh, I, I've i never played Animal Crossing before New Horizons. Technically, Pocket Camp was my first one. Technically Pocket Camp. But um, New Horizons is my first, like, on a console Animal Crossing game that I've ever played in my entire life. Um, and oh, Crone, you, you didn't know? Uh, Hang on. What what part what part did you not know? And then, <laughs> ergo, it's okay. It's okay. 
Uh, you don't- I don't want you to feel like you have to gift sub Zergo. Oh, no. Aww. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Um... Oh, oh, about the voice actor streaming. Yes, yes, yes. Oh gosh, I can't, I can never remember his name when I need to. Uh, his first name is Chris, and then his last name starts with a T. T, T, T uh, oh, I'm, I'm so bad with names. But yes, uh, look him up. He, he, he's wow. really good. <laughs> Thank you for the wow, Ergo. Uh, and he voices Gundam when he does it, so it, it's really fun. But anyway, yeah, uh, with Animal Crossing, it's a very wholesome game, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it a lot. I'm uh, really, really stoked with the new stuff that's come out recently. So I've been having a grand old time with that. Um, going back in time a little bit, the Spyro series is another big fave, uh, like nostalgic wise. I grew up with this. I love, I love Spyro. Ripto's Rage is a classic to me. I, I think, you know what's funny? I started with Sly 2, and then I think I also started with Spyro 2. Yeah, I don't think I don't think I saw the first one for a while. That's actually pretty funny. And, and yeah, oh totally. Absolutely Crowan. I was a thousand percent a PlayStation child. That is We were a PlayStation household when I was a wee lass. That's what we had, that good old PlayStation. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend it. Such a sassy boy that uh that Dragon Spyro. Very fun. And of course, Ace Attorney. Ace Attorney is probably, oh gosh, it's, I, I don't know if I want to say it's like hands down my favorite game, like series of all time, but I feel like it might be. I, I really do feel like it might be. I love the characters. I love the, the overall like lore, like the story that they, they present, especially within the Phoenix Wright series. I've only really played one Apollo Justice game and one of the Edgeworth games. But I want to say that I would just love the entire series because uh, I played also the, the first three Phoenix Wright games as well. But I plan on playing the rest and actually, hint, hint, nudge, nudge, Ergo and I will be playing the new one sometime soon. <laughs> uh, and then Lyra, you're saying uh, you still got to play more of the Ace Attorney games? Yes. Oh, please do. Please do. They're so good. They're so funny and just, ah, uh, just... It, it really is great at combining humor and like, oh my god, what the what the heck, like serious stuff. It, it's just mwah, such a great balance, such a such a great team of writers and artists and just everyone working together. And you you still never finish Trials and Tribulations? Oh, oh, absolutely. I, I recommend it. I recommend it highly. If you get the chance, please do. Uh, I know that the the Switch actually has all three of the Phoenix Wright games. There's like a, a bundle, uh, and that's what I have currently. I, I recommend that. It's really good to have it all together. Um, and this one's really different. This is a fighting game, and I've not played it on stream before. And one day I would like to, um, but Skullgirls is really cool. I love the character designs. I think it's just really interesting. Um, and the, the story is just really fascinating. I remember getting frustrated and uh, like like shaking Ergo's like shoulders metaphorically, just going like, I need more story. There's not enough story because there's enough story to really be interesting. I need more dots connected. Uh, and let's see there. You said, oh, you have the remaster. It's just to find the time. Oh, no, no. I, yeah, I totally feel that. Very feel that. And uh, Crow, and you said the the cool art style. Yes, yes, absolutely. Skullgirls has an immaculate style. It's just so good. It's so good. Oh my goodness! I'm I'm just getting I'm getting so excited and happy thinking about it. I love it. Um, and then this is also a different game tonally. <laughs> this is not a fighting game, uh, um, unless unless you consider Smash. <laughs> but I love Mario Kart. I love Smash. Uh, I do love the Mario games in general as well. They're just they're just classics in their own rights. And I, I'm one of those kinds of people that'll talk a big talk and go, yeah, I'm going to be so good at this. I'm going to kick your butt. And, and then I lose terribly. Ergo can attest to this. Isn't that true, Ergo? I mean, actually, recently, you usually win. <gasps> Whoa. Because, I mean, you, you, went, you did, like, a whole training arc. I did. I actually, Yeah, no, that's fair. I did do a training arc in the Mario Kart. Uh, and let's see, 
There's fighting when you go from first, <laughs> yeah, first to last. Yeah, yeah, no, it's true. The hands come out. The hands come out in that. And then Mario Kart is a fighting game for me. Yes, Crowen, understandable. <laughs> the mountain chicken, yes. <laughs> um, and then, of course, uh, speaking of Nintendo games, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. I am sad to admit that Breath of the Wild is the first Zelda game I've ever played in my entire life so far. I would like to play the other games. One day I'll get off my butt and do it. But Breath of the Wild was such a good first Zelda game. I fell in love with it. It was so good. Oh my gosh. Like just talking about it makes me want to go and replay it now. Hey, listen. <laughs> That's right. Hey, listen. Um, and so Rev, you're saying you're not a Zelda guy yourself. I, I can understand that. Um, I, I know it's not for everyone. I can't really say much because I've only ever played one game and out of, out of the entire game series, but uh, I, I can understand that. And uh, yes, yes, no, I agree with that also, Crow, and the, the Zelda universe in general is just pretty cool. So if it's, if it's something that's up your alley, absolutely, absolutely. And uh, oh, oh, Cronus, Cronus is getting together with Crowen, trying to play a game together sometime. Oh, sounds like uh, I'm guessing Mario Kart, a Mario Kart throwdown is, uh, is uh, being suggested in the chat. <laughs> and then, uh, Leary, you're saying that you can't help but still prefer Twilight Princess. I've heard that people do like that one. I've just, I've, again, I've never played any of them. So one of these days, one of these days, gonna have to do that. And then last, but certainly not least on my list is Don't Starve. I love Don't Starve. I've been playing it recently on stream. It is so good. I've had a lot of, uh, a lot of time playing it, so I've learned a lot of things, but I'm still not an expert. <laughs> so the fact that in our playthrough I'm still alive, I'm actually pretty impressed about that. Uh, because I usually play on Endless so that if I, if I get myself killed, I can just come back at the portal. So, yeah. So this is a, it's a fun game and I highly recommend it if you've never played it before. And then Misery, you're saying, uh, never played a Zelda game in my life, but I somehow know most of the lore. Ooh, that's cool. <laughs> Heck yeah. Major claps for that. And then uh, Leary would, uh, would have loved a bundle, which would have been Wind Waker HD, Twilight Princess HD, and Skyward Sword HD, but we can't get everything we want. It's true. It's true. Sometimes the things we want most elude us. But I, I'm, I, I'll hope for you. I'll cross my fingers for you. All right. Now we're getting into the favorite movies. You'll notice that I put quotes by them because I, I'm a nerd and I'm like, Oh, I have to I have to showcase some of my favorite quotes from movies. Uh, so like Ergo, I love Princess Bride. Princess Bride, as Ergo said, it's it's basically a perfect movie. It is so funny. It's so just so good, just so good. I remember the mo the last time we watched it together, I kept saying to Ergo, "Oh my God, this movie is so good. Like, why is this so good?" And, uh, oh, Rev, you're so sweet. I love you, too. I I'm glad that you liked the list so far. Uh, same for you, too, Cronus. Yes. Oh, come on. Woo, woo. And uh, Ergo is hosting with one person. Woo. Thank you. <laughs> is the uh, the Princess Bridge or the, <laughs> the Princess Bride the one with the Sicilian? Yes. Yes. For a second, I was like, the Princess Bridge? <laughs> Um, th that's the sequel, but, uh, uh, yes, that is the one. Never, uh, ne what was it? Never go to war, uh, or a land war with this, or no. What was the Sicilian quote again? What is it, Ergo? Ne never. Uh, uh, never do. Never start a land war in Asia, and never go toe to toe with the Sicilian when death is on the line. Yes! Yes, that's the one. That's the one. I love it. And then, of course, everyone's, I think, fan favorite quote is, I am Inigo, Inigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Like, mwah, chef's kiss. So good. <laughs> and Leary, I like that you were like, I see all Studio Ghibli. Yes. <laughs> oh, no, Super Eyes, your phone. Save it. Save your phone. Um, Look at it. Plug it in. Plug it in. I'm so sorry. I hope I don't get... Uh, in trouble from the commercial with that. Um, but one of my favorite quotes that I put by that was, no more rhymes, I mean it. Anybody want a peanut? <laughs> I'm, such, I'm such a dweeb. 
Uh, and then as Rev was saying, Kung Fu Panda, I, I think you were the one who said, Kung Fu, yes, the Kung Fu Panda quote. Uh, the, Kung Fu, the Kung Fu Panda series, in my opinion, is vastly underrated. I remember I had that, uh, like the DVD for the first one, sitting on my like dresser for for like a whole year. I got I got it gifted once as a present uh, for a holiday, and I just I just sat on it for so long. Finally, put it in and was like, why did I wait so long? This movie is so good. And then the second one was so good. And I know a lot of people don't really like the third one that much, but I all, I really like the third one. I think the third one's really good too. Uh, but the quote I chose that Rev said they, they liked as well is the one from Ugwe that yesterday is history. Tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. Mwah. Such a, such a good line by Ugwe. Such a good line. I'll stay until it dies. <laughs> oh, well, good luck, Super Eyes. Good luck. If, if you suddenly are quiet, we'll know why. Um, and, and I agree, Rev. I can see why. That quote is just, it's just masterful. It, the way they did it as well, like the way it was executed. Mwah, absolutely love it. Uh, and then, of course, I also mentioned essentially all Studio Ghibli movies. There are some that I'm not a super huge fan of. That list is very, very small. <laughs> uh, for me, I was not a huge fan of the Tales of Earth Sea as much as I wanted to be. I just, it, it just didn't hit me as well. Um, but I basically love all the others. Um, they're all wonderful. And let's see, it, it's Seako. Oh, I, I really hope I'm saying your name right. Uh, it's okay. It's okay that you're late. Uh, as Gandalf says, a wizard is never early or late. They always arrive when they mean to. So thank you for coming here uh, when you did. Um, but the, the quote I chose was from Kiki's Delivery Service. I, I started my Ghibli, my Ghibli obsession with that film. I watched it all the darn time. And uh, so this quote was from the artist that Kiki is talking to when she's like, that same spirit is what makes me paint and your friend bake, but we each need to find our own inspiration. So if you needed to hear that inspirational quote, Take it to heart. You deserve it. You deserve to find your own inspiration. Believe in yourself. Uh, and I absolutely am a huge fan of Back to the Future. Uh, I, it took me way too long to start watching this trilogy, but when I finally did, I was like, I see why people like this so much. It's so good. And so naturally, the quote I had to use when, uh, is when Doc Brown says, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Right? Right, Crowan? Back to the Future! And yes, O'Leary, yes, got to be spirited away on my end. Uh, that started the Ghibli lo uh, love. Funny story. I was sick one day and I wanted to watch Kiki. And I didn't end up getting Kiki. I ended up getting um, spirited away instead. And I'm like, well, okay, I'll watch it. And I had the one of the weirdest, scariest fever dreams I've ever experienced with like no face in it. And so it kind of put me off from the movie for a while. And then I rewatched it a couple of years later and was like, oh my God, this movie is so amazing. I fucking love it. <laughs> so yes, no, Spirited Away is amazing. It, it is his, I think, uh, masterpiece, uh, Hayao Miyazaki's masterpiece. Uh, and oh, Misery, you said you started off with Howl. Very nice. Yeah, Howl's a really good one. That's a really good one to start with as well. Uh, and super eyes, it works for gods too. A god is, oh, it's true. God is never late, you know? A god is never late when they arrive precisely when they mean to. Very true. Uh, oh, watch party when? Uh, I mean, I'm all down for a Studio Ghibli watch party whenever anyone wants to. <laughs> Absolutely. And oh, yes, Rev, Ponyo. Ponyo is so good. When I first saw it, I didn't think I would like it as much. Like, I, I liked it, but I was like, eh. You know, like it, it just wasn't hitting me as like hard as like say Spirited Away did. And then I rewatched it and was like, oh, this is really good. And then I rewatched it again, uh, like a little bit later and was like, damn, this is really good. Um, it was the same thing with me with Porco Rosso. I started off only so-so with Porco and then I rewatched it again, uh, like a, maybe a year or two later and found myself loving it more than I did the first time I watched it. Aw, you named your cat after Ponyo? That's so sweet. Aw, I love that, Rev. Thank you for sharing that. Um, oh, yes. <laughs> and just like Ergo, I had to put Kung Pao Enter the Fist on there. 
because because it is wild. It is a wild movie, uh, and the quote I chose is so funny. I love when they're like, "That's a lot of nuts!" Just this guy screams so loud, and uh, <laughs> I love how the uh, uh, Steve O'Derek. I don't I don't know if that's how you say his name, but o Odin Odin Kirk or. I, Odin Kirk, is that it? Yeah, um, the, the he's the one who plays the main character. Uh, I think it's in the blooper reel where it's super loud and his eyes go <laughs> like he's like like oh jeez, <laughs> he gets freaked out. Uh, and that that's just it's it's a it's a really fun movie and I like to rewatch it. Uh, and fun fact, Ergo and I watched it together before we started dating. And uh, I was doing one of those things where I was like laying my head on him uh, and I was like kind of going, hint, hint, I like you. Please take the hint. Please take the hint. He did not take the hint. <laughs> but it was pretty soon after that that he did take the hint. So, you know, it worked out. <laughs> Everyone's eyeing. Yes. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Growing, it sounds like ergo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And I mean, honestly, some of that fault kind of relies on me. I never said anything either. I just, I was just going, maybe he'll notice. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Men can be. Men can be. You know what? But I feel like we all have the capacity to be blockheads when it comes to, uh, when it comes to love and being, uh, being crushed on or having crushes on someone. Yeah, we, we all can be a little uh, blockheady on that. And hello, Ray. I'm glad that you agree. Yep, and Rev is just like, nope, just men. <laughs> Smooth brain gang. I love it. Um, next on my list, I I have to be honest, I love DreamWorks. I like a lot of their movies. And their hand-drawn animated stuff. Mwah, so good. So good. I didn't want to make this list super long, so obviously I left out a lot of my other favorites. Um, DreamWorks has a lot of really good movies. But El Dorado is one of my all-time favorites. Oh my gosh, I just saw Single Brain Cell Gang. Yes! <laughs> but El Dorado was so good, it, 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 it just, it raised me. And I quote it all the ding-dong time, uh, especially this line. I love the line where they say, The stars are not in position for this ritual. Yeah, stars. Can't do it. Not today. Just, mm, so good. Uh, and of course, everyone knows the both, both. Both is good. And the songs are absolutely fantastic. Elton John did the music, uh, and they're just some of the, the most fun songs to sing. Uh, the Trail We Blaze, oh my god, I, I, I get way too into that song. It's just so good, and if you haven't watched it, I highly recommend it. Tulio and Miguel are mighty and powerful gods. Spoiler alert, not really. Uh, on the next on my list is an underrated classic, Atlantis. It's so good. It's so good. I remember getting really upset with Ergo. Uh, well, not with Ergo, but like at him, because I was like reading something on Wikipedia and I was uh, reading how apparently the reviews for that movie were not that good. And somebody was like, yeah, it was kind of boring. And I was so angry at that. There was like a, there's like a fight scene with a mechanical like lobster like thing. And I looked at Ergo and I was like, yeah, such a boring movie. So boring. <laughs> oh my God. It is, it is a classic. I highly recommend it. Uh, and Luna Pup, what were you saying? The guys from El Dorado are <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically. <laughs> and yes, Cronus, yes. That movie deserved more. Atlantis is a classic, and I recommend it highly. Uh, and then my quote was was from, oh God, what's what's his name? Why can't I think of his name? The Italian guy. Oh God, yeah, I feel bad just saying, but yeah, he's the the Italian guy with the bombs. <laughs> oh God. Um, but he's one of my favorite characters in that movie. He's like, look, I made the bridge. It took like what, like a twenty seconds. <laughs> Because it was like right after Milo was like, wow, this statue or like this, this, this carving, it must have taken like, like thousands of years to make. And, and then he blows it up. <laughs> uh, and then another underrated classic is Treasure Planet. I uh, absolutely adore this movie. Ergo and I recently just rewatched this, actually. And it, it gets me. It gets me emotional every time I watch it. Jim Hawkins in that movie is so cool, even if they did a weird thing where they put a line on his cheek 
and it's supposed to represent according to the internet like what was it a shadow under his eye because when we were watching it we were like why is Jim's scar hopping on his face the entire movie? Like it goes from one cheek to the next, like all the time. Uh, and so I got mad when when Ergo read that because I'm like, well, then why didn't they just give him sha like like bags under both eyes? Like why did they do that? It didn't make any sense. But it's still an underrated classic. That scar aside, it is a, one of my favorite movies. I highly recommend it. And the quote I chose from it was uh, the one that John, um, uh, uh, the one that uh, Silver says, where he's like, I hope I'm there, catching some of the light coming off you that day. Just, mm, that quote is so good. And Crowen, let's see, you said, I missed out on Treasure Planet and Atlantis and Eldorado. Oh my gosh, we need to have a watch party then. We need to have an underrated classics watch party, uh, especially for Crowen, because Crowen, you've missed out on some cool movies. Um, there's a song you love from the movie? Oh, oh, from Treasure Planet? It's the, is it the one that's like, um, uh, duh, duh, oh wait, oh, hang on. Da na 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 da na 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 da na na Is it that one? Because it is a bop, I, I do like that song. Yeah, that's the one! Uh, and then speaking of songs, I'm a huge lover of a lot of Disney movies. I mean, Treasure Planet is a Disney movie. Uh, Beauty and the Beast is probably one of my absolute favorites. It's just classic. Um, I do not like the live action. It just was not as good as the animated one, in my opinion. Um, yes, oh, Revenants, I feel that. Yes, it is It is a great love story. It really is good, which is why the live action really annoyed me, because uh, it, it, the Beast, they turned the Beast, uh, to quote Lindsay Ellis, they, they, they turned the Beast into a neg. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, it... The, the animated one definitely comes across as more of a really good romantic story. Um, <laughs> yeah, Rev, yeah. No, I, I was kind of okay with it when I watched it the first time, but I've only ever watched it once, so that kind of says a lot, where I've re-watched the animated version numerous times. Uh, but I love Aladdin. I love A Little Mermaid. I, I love Lion King. I love a lot of the, the, the like, 90s Renaissance ones. I, I love all Disney movies, to be completely honest with you. Um, but the quote I chose from Beauty and the Beast is the one with uh, Gaston. There were no pictures. How can you read this? <laughs> Which is so good. Um, and oh my gosh, Coco. Coco is so good. I love Pixar as well. Pixar is fantastic. Uh, I put up on here as well. Uh, I don't know if Pixar's made a movie that I haven't liked yet. They, they really made a lot of great films. Uh, Bugs Life, I know a lot of people don't bring that one up a lot, but I really enjoy that one. Coco, though, was just really, really good. And the song, Remember Me, guts me. Like, I sob like a baby every time I hear, Remember me when I have to say goodbye. Remember me. The karaoke stream isn't starting, I swear. Um, but yeah, it, it is really it is really good. And it mwah, just hits all the right feels. And Rev, I'm glad to see that you are also gutted. We can all be gutted together. And right, Cronus, all the sad tears. Uh, but speaking of sad tears, up the first eight minutes, can we talk about uh, just how much that destroyed everyone in that theater? Uh, I watched it with, uh, I watched it in a theater and I was just sobbing at the very beginning, just like, I did not come here for this. Oh my God, I am like sobbing my eyes out. And it's just a great film that those emotional eight minutes aside, the rest of the movie really holds up as well. I know everyone always talks about the opening, but the rest of the movie holds up really well. And I love the Ellie quote, adventure is out there. Just such a good movie, such a good movie. And I really hope that you guys are inspired to watch some of these movies if you haven't or if you haven't watched them in a long time. Uh, I know we spent a while on that, so <laughs> let's talk about the next thing. Right, Leary? That is true. Up doesn't even give you time to understand why you're crying. You're just, like, punched in the gut. And uh, so now we're going to talk about favorite anime. I'll try not to talk about this one as long <laughs> as the other one. Um... Oh, true, true, Rev. Absolutely. Carl's re uh, realization at the end. A lot of people don't go back and look at that, and it is just so good, so emotional. Such a good movie. It really is good. Um, 
But speaking of emotional, see these segues, I'm good. Yu Yu Hakusho is a masterpiece and it makes me emotional. I love this anime. It is my ride or die anime forever. Uh, I have dedicated my life to collecting as many of the Yu Yu Hakusho things as I possibly can. Ergo can attest to this. A lot of uh, the stuff in our <laughs> room <laughs> just have posters and uh, wall scrolls <laughs> galore. <laughs> Thank you for uh, for for mentioning it, Ergo uh, and Rev. You have to go. No worries, I understand. Thank you for being here for as long as you could be, Revenants. I really appreciate you. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Um, but in addition to Yu Yu Hakusho, well, well, actually, wait. Yu Yu Hakusho is my favorite. I can't just leave it at that. Um, it's it's a '90s classic. It is about a main character named Yusuke Urameshi who gets uh, run over by a car. I'm not spoiling you. That is literally what happens in like the first second of the anime. <laughs> um, and it's him realizing that he's dead, but that no one expected him to die because they thought he was a little shit <laughs> and that he wouldn't do a good deed like trying to save a little kid. And, um, and so he goes through this little trial to come back to life and uh, spoiler alert, he does. And then the real big meat of the story occurs when he becomes a spirit detective and he fights demons and stuff and he just he gets he gets friends and it's, it's, oh, it's, just, it's so good I love them and uh, uh, not to make Ergo jealous but I've had a mad crush on Hiei for a very long time uh, still going such a such a good character even though he's a little shit <laughs> uh, but my main man Kuwabara is absolutely fantastic uh, and I hate that people hate on him so yeah just wanted to bring that up uh, and let's see uh, let's see. Aw, Rev, you're so sweet. I just noticed that you said that we have been extremely supportive and, aw, you'll be appreciative to us. That you are so supportive and sweet. Thank you. Thank you so much, Rev. Um, but in addition to Yu Yu Hakusho, one of my other favorite animes is Soul Eater. Really love Soul Eater. It's very funny. <laughs> uh, and it was probably the first anime that got me like super, super excited, like Yu Yu Hakusho. Um, like, like when I discovered Soul Eater, it was like one of the newer animes that made me go, hey, look, I'm good. And I'm like, oh crap, yeah. <laughs> the, the good animes are not just from the 90s. Like, I'm not gonna be one of those people. Uh, thank God, uh, my eyes are opened. <laughs> and oh, Lyra, you said that you watched Soul Eater like five times, nice. Um, I, I need to read the manga one of these days because I found out that that was one of the animes where um, it the where the um, the manga and the anime differ. So I didn't know that, and I really liked the ending for the anime. So I'll have to check out the manga because I've heard the manga ends uh, in a different way and it's cool. So yeah, so I'm excited about that. Uh, Death the Kid was my favorite. Yes, yeah, Stein. He's so a little bit of trivia for you. He's played by Chuck Huber in the English version, and Chuck Huber is the voice actor for Hiei. So you can imagine how excited I was <laughs> when I heard Hiei's voice coming out of this dude, and I'm like, whoa! <laughs> and uh, Leary Solider still isn't the one I've rewatched the most, though. Oh wow, uh, which which is the one you've rewatched the most? Uh, so while I'm waiting on that answer, Shaman King. I don't know if you're sensing a trend here. I apparently like animes where there's spirits involved. Hmm. <laughs> Let's see. So later, uh, her opinion is biased. <laughs> she likes it for the <laughs> for the <EA. laughs> Oh, the crown goes to Fullmetal Alchemist Brotherhood. Uh, absolutely respect that. Yeah, I've heard really good things about Brotherhood. I haven't gotten off my bum and watched that. Uh, I, I watched the original uh, 2003 version. I think it was. I still haven't done uh, Brotherhood yet. I think I saw like maybe an episode of it. So one of these days, one of these days. Uh, but I've heard a lot of good things. But Shaman King, speaking of good things, is really good. It's about an anime where um, there are people like shamans who are basically the, um, the middle ground between the ones in the living and uh, those in the, the, those spirits in the, the afterlife. Uh, and so they can they can um, like link souls into their bodies and <laughs> it's just really good. Oh, your brother used to love Shaman King? Oh, that's awesome. You never, uh, and then Leary, you never got around uh, to watching uh, Shaman King? 
I do recommend it. I will say they did reboot it, and I have feelings. I I wanted to love it because the animation's really good, but it's it's really quick, and they spoil something right off the get go, and I'm just like, oh, okay. I guess now everyone knows that. <laughs> so I'm a little biased. I'm not a fan so far of the reboot. But the 2003 version holds my heart. And uh, even if no one really knows this, I just have to say this. Lyserg will forever be my least favorite character in that entire series. I really can't stand Lyserg. He makes me so angry. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, I, I love it. I love it. There's a uh, great shonen stuff in there. Lots of there's a tournament arc, a really big tournament arc. It's basically the point of the entire series. So yeah, I highly recommend it, especially if you like animes that include spirits and shonen uh, tropes. Um, I also really love Digimon. I love Digimon and Pokemon. Digimon though, I, I, I did I I don't know if I liked it more. It's really hard to say because I really enjoyed both of them. But yeah, Digimon. Digimon was a classic for me. I had the hugest crush on both Ty and Matt when I was young. Oh my god. Um, but yes, the theme song lives rent-free in my head forever, just like Pokemon's uh, theme song. I'll get, like, if somebody says Digital World, I immediately go, d d d digit just immediately. Um, but yeah, I, I love Digimon, and I always wanted to be a Digidestin. I, I, to this day, I still don't know which crest I would get, so I, I've taken tests, but I, I don't know. I, I, one of these days, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna have to definitively pick one. And uh, Lyra, you said Digimon. I mostly got memories of two old games. I tried playing a Digimon game once, and it was not what I expected because I was so used to the anime. I was like, this is not like the anime. <laughs> this is very different. Um, so one of these days, I might have to revisit that. Uh, but of course, Pokemon is a legend. It is wonderful. I think most of us grew up with that. Uh, it, it, it is a staple. And it, they produce really good games. The anime is great. It is cheesy, fun, goodness. Team Rocket forever. Oh my god, Ergo. <laughs> Thank you, Ergo. Uh, oh, also, did we, did we reach the goal? I, th I think we did. Oh my god, did, if, we, if we did, I guess I'm karaokeing later. <laughs> Yes, crowing like no one ever was. Bum bum bum. Yay! Well, thank you. Let's let's see who got all the subs. Oh, I wondered why you went over there, Ergo. <laughs> um, but let's see. Ah, so Regan Z got it. Leary got one. Yay! Um, it's Yakos uh, and Ferret Thief and Super Eyes. Yay! Enjoy your emotes, guys. Yay! So excited. Thank you so much, Ergo, for the sub. You are wonderful. Um, almost as wonderful as Sailor Moon. Actually, no, you're, you're, you're better than Sailor Moon. Uh, but I do like Sailor Moon, though. See, I tried to transition with that. I didn't know if that was obvious. <laughs> um, but Sailor Moon was another favorite. Absolutely adore it. A little bit of trivia. The creator of Sailor Moon is uh, married to the creator of Yu Yu Hakusho. Which is why if you read the manga for uh, Yu Yu Hakusho, you'll notice that they mention Tuxedo Mask. <laughs> uh, and then there's also a part in the anime, which I'm assuming they do in the manga as well. Um, they have a character dress up like Tuxedo Mask too. <laughs> why not both? <laughs> both? Both is good. Um, really? You didn't know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, a, there's an Easter egg for you then. It is, it is really fun. I, I, I adored that bit of information when I found it. It was really funny uh, that I learned that initially uh, <laughs> she had to tell him. She basically was like, look, because I think he forgot her birthday. And so she was really pissed, understandably. And she told him, look, you either do this, you, you marry me, or we're done. And he was like, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> so I think he, he realized he was like, oh, shit. <laughs> So yeah, she was like, either wife me or no. So I thought that was fun. Um, and of course, One Piece. One Piece is great. It's hella long though. Still have not watched the rest of it. I, I see clips all the time. Um, but one of these days I'm gonna have to get off my butt and actually continue watching. I think, ergo, we uh, left off um, somewhere in the Alabasta arc, didn't we? Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. It was it was somewhere during that like we were getting into like I think we were getting really close to like like one of the big epic fights and uh, then we <laughs> we, get, we stopped for some reason. And Leary, you said uh, that you went through a hundred episodes, but you never got more. Yeah, honestly, with a hundred episodes in One Piece, I'm not even sure where that leaves you. Uh, but it's it's somewhere early on. Though. We, were we were around a hundred. Yeah, that makes sense because like where we stopped was pretty early in the series, honestly. Yeah, we're at a thousand at this point. Yep, yep. <laughs> That's One Piece. <laughs> One of these days, when we're 50, it'll be over, you know? And then we'll... That's what I've told myself, is when it's over, I'll, I'm going to watch all of it. That's what's going to happen. Um, and then I love Nichi Joe. Nichi Joe, right? Yeah, and we even skipped a filler arc. We did, that's right. <laughs> I just remembered that. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. Um, but I, I love Nichi Joe. I love it so, so, so much. It is absolutely hilarious. If you're into the comedy genre, I absolutely recommend Nichi Joe. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen like clips, but there's like an infamous clip where you see like the, like a, an older uh, uh, fellow doing like a, a wrestling move to a deer. <laughs> That's Nichi Joe. Or if you've seen the one where like the dog bites the girl's leg and she shoots out a laser from her mouth. That's Nichi Chong. <laughs> yes, he suplexes the deer. Yes. Uh, absolutely, Leary. Nichi Joe is peak comedy. I I absolutely adore it and I can't recommend it enough. Um, and then speaking of comedy, I absolutely adore Azumanga Dayo. Azumanga Dayo is super funny. Um, the the theme song, I don't know it just as well as I do some others, but it's just the da da. Da 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 na 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 <laughs> goes through my head every now and again. It is really funny and has a pretty catchy theme song. Uh, the one with the machine gun, <laughs> yes, yeah, she's a great character. Nichi Joe, I like her. She's funny. Uh, she's Sundari as heck. And oh, Sakamoto, ergo like Sakamoto. I've not watched it, but I did see some clips and I did like what I saw. So one of these days, I'm gonna have to watch Sakamoto as well. Uh. I think he's talking about the character Sakamoto. Oh, Nichi Joe! Yes, yes, yes! Sakamoto the cat! Yes! Yes, I also adore Sakamoto. <laughs> he's a little shit. Uh, but he's a cute little shit, and I love him. Uh, and the, the little doctor girl, oh my god. <laughs> she's she's so funny. Uh, yeah, she is another level of Sundari, for sure. And, uh, right, right, Crowan? You like that the cat was speaking English? I've never seen the Japanese version of it. Or actually, wait, no, I have. Okay, I was gonna say, does he speak English in the Japanese version? But no, no, he doesn't. He speaks Japanese too. Uh, I, I thought of, yeah, I thought of, um, oh gosh, what's the English title of that? Everyone loves Sakamoto. Or, or... <laughs> everybody loves Raymond. Everybody loves Sakamoto. <laughs> or, yeah, like it, it's me, Sakamoto, or something. Oh, okay, yeah, there we go. Uh, yes, that's the one I thought you were talking about. <laughs> Um, and then you, so Crowan, you said you have the professor's same shark poster in your room. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> the opening is amazing, but hard to sing. Are you talking about Azamanga Dayo's opening or Nichi Joe? Because they're both really good, but I do, the Nichi Joe theme song is a banger. I do really like that one. I have it saved on a playlist somewhere. Um, and then of course, speaking of great music, Cowboy Bebop is absolutely a bop. It is so good. Uh, if you've not watched it, what are you doing? <laughs> uh, I highly recommend it. It's a classic. I remember being so shocked that I found out it wasn't a classic, it, or like it wasn't immediately popular in Japan uh, because of how westernized it was. And I, I realized when I read that, I'm like, oh, you know, that actually that makes a lot of sense, really. Um, and it only became really, really popular in Japan after it started to get really big here in America. Um, that's at least what I read somewhere. It is peak storytelling, in my opinion. I adore Cowboy Bebop, so I highly recommend watching that one. Uh, Leary, you're saying, little trivia on Nichi Joe's opening, both voices are the same person. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know that. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Leary, for that, uh, for that little bit, bit of information. Um, and my last but not least, and I have more favorites, but again, I'm already talking this long about these, so imagine if I had more on here. Uh, Agretzko. I adored Agretzko. Burgle I thought it was really Corvus funny. Says Spike it was really Spiegel good. Voice, I, I love the heavy metal like, just aspect of it all that she, you know, lets out her frustrations about work. Did you not hear that? Oh no, I didn't. Oh. I'm so sorry. I didn't have my ear. 
Oh, you know what? I didn't have it on because of this. <laughs> I love a woman who can kick my ass. I, I didn't... Well, see, because I didn't have it on before because it was just on. <laughs> my bad. I don't know what I did, but I did something. <laughs> um, but yeah, sorry, Ergo. I didn't hear that, but thank you. I do love that line, though. That is a really good line. Um, but yeah, so those are some of my favorite animes. And favorite cartoons! <laughs> uh, again, I'll try not to make this one a million years. I, I absolutely swear. Um, so some of my favorite cartoons. Avatar The Last Airbender. Peak animation. Just mwah, so good. I loved learning from the art book that they tried reaching out to different um like studios that like did anime that they liked uh and it just never got off the ground from that um and i thought that was really fascinating hearing that yet again you see culture and things that you should watch yes yes i'm glad i'm glad that you see things that you like leary um okay ko this was one i had i yelled across the room to ergo i was like ergo <laughs> add okay ko i just remembered i can't believe i forgot this one I adore OKKO. OK it is such a funny, good show. Do not sleep on OKKO OK if you've never heard of it. Uh, like, speaking of like really good theme songs, OKKO's OK theme song lives in my head also rent free forever as well. Um, just the the OKKO OK will fight to the end. You are my best friend. Mwah! Just so good. So good. Yes, and Sonic was in it, Crowen. That was my uh, Sonic and Captain Planet. Just, oh, so good. So good. It, it spoke to me. It spoke to me so, so much. Uh, oh, Crowen, absolutely. If you get a chance, I'd, I recommend watching the entire series. It goes some places. It, it goes some places. It's really cool. Um, I love all the voice acting in that show, too. And uh, fun fact, this also goes into my next one uh, with Steven Universe. Um, Rebecca Sugar does the singing for the uh, the ending theme song uh, for OKKO. OK and Ian, uh, he, the creator of OKKO, OK he and uh, Rebecca Sugar are married now. So so they were, I think they were together when it was being made and now they're married. Uh, but yeah, so a little trivia for you if you didn't know that. And speaking of Steven Universe, it is a classic. It is really good. Please watch it if you've never watched it before. Uh, it is not only really great with its representation, uh, especially within the LGBT community, but it's it's just really good storytelling. Uh, and the music, they write a lot of really good songs, all of which I, I know a lot. <laughs> I know a lot of the lyrics to some of them. Oh, my favorite gem. Oh, that's really hard. That's really hard. Um, I, I love to draw Pearl. I really enjoy drawing Pearl. And I know she did some things, uh, but I think that's what makes her a really good character, too, uh, that she did things that she did a lot of like, ooh, whoa, okay, like kind of yikes things, but she she grew from that. So I, I, I guess I would have to say one of my favorite gems is probably Pearl, but I love all of them. They're all so good. Peridot is a riot. Lapis is just peak Sundari goodness. I love, I love Lapis. And Garnet, how can anyone not like Garnet? And then there's Amethyst. Again, just the list is too long, but it, it's probably Pearl just for the aesthetics of just drawing her. I just really enjoy drawing her. Oh, and Crowen, I see you're hydrate. I will hydrate. Uh, O'Leary, you said you're biased with Lapis and Peridot. Ergo, didn't you say your favorite is Lapis? Didn't you? Really? Yeah. Because <laughs> I, I think that you really liked when she went kind of like, eh, whatever. <laughs> um, the next one, a lot of you may not know. I don't know how many of you guys are privy to it. Uh, <laughs> right, Leary, Bob? <laughs> yes, Bob. Oh, so good. But The Moomins. The Moomins is uh, another big classic for me. I think I've mentioned this on stream before, but I was doing an art commission for somebody once, and they wanted something drawn for The Moomins, and I had no idea what it was. So to get in the right mindset, I, I like turned on the theme song just to kind of get an idea of what it was. And I'm like immediately into the theme song. Oh my God, this show is great. Like, I love it. It's so wholesome and cute and fun and just, ah! <laughs> um, so yeah. Oh, you know the knife meme from Moomin? Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh my goodness. I love that. That is awesome. I'm glad that you know it, Leary. 
Um, so if you if you look through the sound bites and you see or the sound alerts and you see Moomin theme song, uh, it, it yeah, that's what that is. <laughs> it's from that show. And Owl House, Owl House is so good. It's a recent show on the Disney Channel. And Ergo and I started watching it finally, and I'm in love with it. It is so Let's go and film so Moomin Valley oh with crime. God. Come on! Yes! Film Moomin Valley with crime! <laughs> I love it. I love it. Snuffkin's my favorite character in uh, Moomin, by the way. <laughs> and let's see. Owl House, you gotta watch it. Yes, you do. Yes, you do, Leary. If you get a chance, I highly recommend watching it. It is so funny. So good. <laughs> the animation is quality. It just fantastic and speaking of Disney Channel animated shows that are just really good Gravity Falls is amazing I'm always thinking about this show and these characters Grunkle Stan is great I know Ergo recently retweeted a thing that said <laughs> it was like a thing it was like Dilf of the Day <laughs> and I, I looked at him later and I was like oh so you think Grunkle Stan is a Dilf huh um, but I retweeted it too so I, I don't know what that says about me <laughs> Right, Cronus, I agree. I need I need more Gravity Falls in my life too. Uh, Alex Hirsch did a great thing with uh, with that series. So, <laughs> Cronin and your side eyes. <laughs> uh, and also going back to what I said about theme songs, that was another one where I like I purchased it on iTunes. I know that's a dated sentence, uh, but I put I uh, I purchased like the first episode on iTunes. And I was starting to watch it because I'm like, oh, I don't want to get any more because I don't know if I'll like it that much. I've heard of really good things, but just in case. Two minutes in, so like halfway through the theme song, I pressed pause and I bought more episodes <laughs> because I was like, this is absolutely peak. It is so good. Uh, so yeah, absolutely great show. Uh, Teen Titans. Love Teen Titans. I'm biased. I don't really like Go. Uh, it's fine for what it is. It's a good comedy. But Teen Titans, the original animated series Teen Titans, is just amazing. And I agree, Leary. That, that, I think that's kind of what makes me sad about Go, and I think why a lot of people don't like it, that grew up watching Teen Titans, is because that's all we see of it now, is just that one. And it's like, it's great comedy, but I miss the other one. Like, the other one was really good, and had a lot of really good themes, and also, we're all salty as heck because they never finished it. They ended it on a cliffhanger, and it wasn't fair. <laughs> yes. Oh, you're talking about the one with Raven? Because if you are, yes, I agree. That one was pretty spooky. Um, ooh, yes. But I love Teen Titans. That's another good theme song that I'll just kind of randomly hum from time to time. SpongeBob. SpongeBob SquarePants. Don't really like some of the current episodes that I've seen, but I love older Spongebob. Original Spongebob is just peak goodness. The the pizza, the Krusty Krab pizza thing, uh, the 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 dying inside <laughs> Sandy's tree dome, <laughs> just the, the campfire song. There's so many great, great things about Spongebob. It is a fantastic show and I don't like what it's become, but eh, I'm old. So I guess that's what happens when you get old. <laughs> Um, but yeah, there's some quality Spongebob out there, and I highly recommend you look at it, uh, if you haven't done so in a while. Right? Yes, Leary. I don't need it. I don't need it. I definitely don't need it. I need it! <laughs> oh, it's a good meme. I also really love Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. Uh, Craig McCracken can do no wrong to me. Uh, he is a legend. I adore him. I adore, uh, Powerpuff Girls. I, I, I love um, Wander Over Yonder, but Foster's was just, mm, it just was really great, right? Frankie was such a great character design. She was so cool. And she had the Powerpuff Girls on her t-shirts. Blue was a little shit, but he was a little shit that we loved. And um, Mac was wholesome, just a great show overall. I wanted to hug Wilt so hard. Like I just, mm, such a good show, it's such a good show. Shut up, Ergo. <laughs> That's not what I meant. <laughs> Oh, you're laughing at Crowen. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> Crowen simping, I see. Okay. Why am I not surprised? Um, and then, <laughs> definitely a different show tonally. Samurai Jack was another great show on the Cartoon Network. Uh, I was recently, or I've been recently re-watching this. It's on HBO Max. Uh, uh, Crowen is Mac. Yeah, <laughs> simping. Simping on Frankie. Yes. 
Um, but I, I love, I love Samurai Jack. And uh, ergo, you don't hear this, but I, I, I've always thought Jack looked really good. Just he looked cool. <laughs> he, he looked cool, okay. <laughs> um, but, but I love that he's voiced by Philomar. I love Philomar, so just absolutely fantastic. <laughs> Samurai, yes, yes, Aku. Oh, Mako, I oh. Just he was great as Iro. He was great as everything, but uh, Iro and Aku, mwah, just pure legendary, pure legendary. Uh, Crowin's still freaking out about Frankie. <laughs> Half of these are have been. I had a crush on this character. <laughs> really? <laughs> Name the ones that you're thinking. You're going. Uh, oh God, Leary. <laughs> Oh gosh, just remember guys, we want to try to keep it somewhat family friendly. We're good, but I, I don't I don't know how hard the simping is gonna get. Um, but Samurai Jack is classic. It's a classic show. I love how there's barely any dialogue in it. It's 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 just mwah, peak storytelling by Gendy Tar uh, Tartikovsky. Um, Star vs. the Forces of Evil um, was really good in the beginning, really good in the middle. The ending kind of lost me a little. I'm not gonna lie, I might have to rewatch it one day to see if the ending hits a little different. But uh, the the start and middle of Star were just really good, really, really good, and I highly recommend it. It was a very fun story, uh, and I liked the magical girl aspect of it. It was just really fun, just a really fun story with a, a lot of really great animation. And look, just that one gif of Aku. Oh my god. <laughs> um. This one, I don't know if you guys know this one. Mighty Max. I forgot about this show for so long. I wasn't allowed to watch it when I was little because uh, I, I was afraid of everything. But um, Mighty Max was a show that I remembered little pieces about. And finally, I asked someone years later about it. I was like, do you remember what this was? And they told me the name of it, and I searched it up, and I found it on YouTube. I think it's still there to this day, if you want to rewatch it. It's 40 episodes of just, this is so, like, 80s, 90s. Like, this, wow. Like, Max is just, he, he's just a character. He's just really great. I love it. I love the animation. Norman is fucking fantastic. There's... In that, I, th I think it's the Thing episode, because it's with aliens, so like, the aliens have the same kind of thing as the, the, the monster from the Thing. And, um, I swear it's that episode where Norman, this big Viking-looking guy, screams, I'm gonna rip out your spine and wear it like a charm bracelet! And I'm like, ah! <laughs> it is so good. Um, oh, Crowan, you didn't know you remembered? And now you remember! Yay! You're like me that one day when I re-remembered it. Uh, also, Tim Curry is the voice of uh, not Skeletor. <laughs> uh, uh, um, Skullmaster is his name. So yeah, yeah, that's a good fact, just in case you didn't know that. Um, Jackie Chan Adventures. I don't know how many people remember Jackie Chan Adventures, but I do. <laughs> I love Jackie Chan Adventures. I'm constantly quoting the thing where he's like, Aya, Jackie! <laughs> One more thing! Just so good. I love that character. <laughs> on Toru was so so wholesome uh, later on in the series yes the talismans we need all the talismans yes <laughs> garlic is good for you and then Jade is a little she's a little shit but she's a great little shit uh, just a fun show all around it was really good really good storytelling and I liked how at the end of each episode actual Jackie Chan would come up and like talk about stuff kind of like Sonic says <laughs> <laughs> Which is really good. Magic must defeat magic, yes! <laughs> oh, I'm getting flashbacks. I love it. Not me wanting to rewatch it, right? You're like, oh, maybe. Um, Primal. Primal. Guys, if you've not seen Primal, uh, Gendy Tartikovowski is incredible. He was the one that did Samurai Jack. He did um, uh, Hotel Transylvania. Uh, He's fantastic. He did Primal, and it's this really good adult cartoon about a Neanderthal man and a dinosaur who, through shared trauma, end up becoming friends. Uh, and it is gory. It is very violent. I've seen a lot of animated intestines because of that show. But it was really good. It was really worth it. I didn't think I could do it, but I watched it and I fell in love with it. It is so fantastic. 
Um, if you've never seen it or if it sounds like something up your alley, I highly recommend it. I'm hype for the supposed second season. <sighs> I'm really excited for it. I really hope it comes out eventually soon because I want to see what happens. Um, but yes, Crowan, it is very interesting. I highly recommend it. All right. So let's see. What's next? Favorite content creators. This list will be really short because I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about them, but I will just name these. Um, so I like to watch a lot of stuff and... I love Good Mythical Morning. I love Good Mythical Kitchen. They make me laugh all the live long day. Uh, Lysandra! Yes! <laughs> Crowan knows! Crowan knows the pro ZD! Um, but I, I love Good Mythical Morning. Rhett and Link are really funny. And Josh is chaos in the kitchen. Uh, just fantastic shows. And uh, Matt Pat does uh, film theory, game theory, and food theory. I love the theorists. Uh, I think they're really cool. Even if some of the theories, you know, like Matt Pat has even said, a lot of them are for fun. Uh, but some he's like, oh, you know, I actually kind of think this one might actually be right. Uh, there are some. And he recently did one with like with Nurse Joy potentially being an actual Pokemon. And I'm like, oh, I kind of see it. <laughs> um, and then, yes, Pro ZD is amazing. Lysanderoth, uh, Tomoko, Cherim Anime. Uh, you've seen him, I'm sure, doing uh, stuff on Vine and uh, uh, then going on to YouTube. He is a, he is a voice actor. He's incredible. Um, and he streams too, I think, actually. So you might want to try to give him a look-see. Um, but yeah, Ergo and I constantly quote Pro ZD quotes. Um, and I, I also really love that video where he's goofy and uh, he's doing Uptown Funk. And then it goes into, like, the copyright police. <laughs> Um, he's an oh yeah yeah he is an OKKO okay he is um um wait who is he in he's the Yu Gi Oh yes thank you that's right I posted that and I forgot about it but yeah he was the Yu Gi Oh parody one uh, and then speaking of people who were in uh, OKKO okay uh, one of the brothers in the McElroy brothers uh, so my brother my brother and me I think it was Justin he played the uh, the gold guy the gold rich villain he played that guy I thought that was really funny. Uh, he's the voice actor for the Beast Tamer in Borderlands. I think so, yeah. Yeah, that sounds right. I have not Robot played guy. it. Sorry. Robot guy? I mean, no, that I... that sounds up his alley, honestly. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're into skits, definitely check out uh, Pro ZD. He's hilarious. Uh, and if you like video essays, I highly recommend uh, a lot of the video essays in the community. Uh, but I specifically watch Sarah Zed, Lindsay Ellis, uh, H Bomber Guy. Uh, when, fun fact, when I was doing the art stuff for our debut, I was listening to a bunch of long ass video essays. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was fun. Um, and then the McElroy brothers, just really fun content. Just think they're really funny. Uh, the round table, if you love cartoons, I recommend checking them out. They talk a lot about cartoons and different theories, like ideas of what's going to be happening. Uh, and they try to rally the communities, uh, like with, uh, uh, infinity train, they posted a video where they were like, yo, Look, we might want to try to save this series. Here's how we might be able to do it. Um, yes, yeah, Leary, Pro ZD, he did, uh, he did the, in the, in the most recent series, uh, or season, he did the, oh god, what's the, I don't know the animal type he was, but he played, he, was he a tiger? I think something, something yeah. He was the manager. Yeah, he was the manager character, so good. Uh, yeah, he does. He, he really does get around. He, he's, he's really good at getting voice roles, and I'm really glad that he is, because his range is awesome. He's a leopard? Thank you. Thank you, Leary. I appreciate it. I knew he's a big cat. I just couldn't remember. Um, and I love how to cook that. She's a really wholesome uh, lady, and uh, I, I just enjoy her cooking videos. I also really like that she's gotten recently into debunking Five Minute Crafts and Blossom, and just kind of letting everybody know, like, hey, some of this stuff is kind of... Uh, just watch out for content farms, y'all. <laughs> so she's really fun to watch. Uh, Jazza, if you love art, I highly recommend him. He's super funny. Uh, he does a lot of like creative stuff with art. He just recently got a big studio, so I'm really happy about that. Uh, so we're going to see a lot more cool stuff from him. Um, uh, speaking of animation, uh, Rubber Ninja, so Ross Rubber Ninja, he's awesome. Oh, and bye, Super Eyes. Uh, sorry for your, your big phone <laughs> or your big dead phone. <laughs> Good luck, and thank you uh, for staying for as long as you have. Um, but yes, I love, I love Ross. He's, he's such a, he's such a fun guy. He's very interesting and, uh, he animates like a pro. So I adore him. Uh, Saber Spark is really fun. I love watching his videos. Uh, he's really, really funny. 
and he looks into a lot of weird animations uh, and just like some weird cursed content, stuff like that. So I learn a lot from his videos too. He likes to get into the research aspect of it when he can. Um, and speaking of the absolute, absolute opposite, <laughs> Game Grumps, they don't do research. <laughs> they don't do research ahead of time before they play games. Um, I haven't watched them recently. It's been a while actually, but I, I do like them. Uh, they were there for me during a really uh, difficult period of time of my life. So I really appreciate them for that always. And uh, I just enjoy their content. They, uh, they've done a lot of really good playthroughs. And uh, of course, Right? Yes, Leary, absolutely, that last one on the list. All of you, and I'm not being cheesy saying that, I'm honestly meaning it. Even if I don't get off my butt and watch all of your guys' videos as often as I should, Ergo is way better at doing that than I am. I'm constantly too busy re-watching the same YouTube videos like 30 million times. But, uh, he, you know, just you guys are so fantastic. I'm not trying to butter you up. You're really awesome. I see a lot of what you guys do. Just not as much as I want to, but I do see what you do, and I appreciate all of you guys so, so much. Um, thank you for for just providing with this to this community and, and being an awesome VTuber. So thank you. Thank you for that so, so much. Aw, thank you. I really appreciate that. You guys are so sweet. <laughs> Leary watching the same YouTube videos relatable. Yeah. <laughs> that I mentioned during Ergo's stream that I uh, watched that BBC Sherlock uh, one from H Bomber Guy. Uh, but that was me watching it again. I watched it at least a year or two ago, whenever it first came out. So yeah, I, I rewatch a lot of videos. <laughs> and I'm glad you guys feel the love. Good. You deserve it. All right. Now, what to expect? So, re expect a lot of talking. I don't know if you can tell, but I talk way more than Ergo. Ergo's good at keeping things to the point. I ramble a, a shit ton. <laughs> um, and, and it is true, Crow, and it is kind of hard to catch us all. Uh, we're not all Pokemon. Uh, <laughs> but when, when we can, it's always great. Um, but yes, what to expect. I like to stream a variety of different kinds of games, um, but especially the ones that I mentioned earlier, such as my favorites. Um, and I, I will always try to play new games, but I, I will be honest, because of like what I said before about re-watching the same videos a million times, which is something I found out that people with anxiety do often, which makes a lot of sense, <laughs> uh, that, that speaks to me. Um, I, I certainly will try to play new games, even though I'll probably replay a lot of old games before I play new ones. Um, I like to try to voice act lines in games with written text. Uh, I may not always be able to do so, but whenever I get the chance, uh, it is something I adore doing. Even uh, if I'm very amateur at it, I, I like to try. I like to try and I have fun with it. Uh, and Leary, <laughs> you heard people with anxiety, right? Aw, and under the moonlight, thank you for following. I really appreciate you. You are awesome. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I, I, I found out years ago that I, or not years, but a couple of years ago that I have anxiety and I'm like, oh, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> so like, yeah. Um, and then let's see, next thing to expect, often I will not talk during cutscenes unless there is a pause. So if I'm quiet and there's a cutscene, I promise it's not just that I don't want to do anything. It's, it's just because I want to make sure everyone can hear it. Um, and aw, thank you. You're so sweet. Oh, love you too. You are awesome. <laughs> Crowen anxiety gang. <laughs> and then Liria, I'm known with my friends to be anxiety itself, so relatable. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I feel like I find a lot of people more and more now that are like, ah, yes, this anxiety thing. I know what this is. And uh, it, it is it is both a, like, it's it's a shame that that is the case, but at least we have solidarity. At least we can help each other out when we can, so that is a good thing. Um, oh yes, art streams. So I want to stream art. I haven't done it yet, um, but it's because I haven't found a good setup for it. Once I do, I will absolutely try to do some art streams. I love to draw. Uh, I've been currently doing the uh, IRL Undertale drawings that I did years ago, and I've just been redoing them, so that's been fun. <laughs> Crow and Gressy art stream. <laughs> she has such a way with words. <laughs> you guys are great. Oh my god, Cron, thank you. Um, but yeah, one of these days, one of these days, uh, uh, I know that 
Crowen is the the awesome art streamer. Uh, so I I want to be able to join in on the awesome art streams when I can. What do I draw on? I uh, draw with a Hueyon. I draw with a Hueyon tablet. I I got that because Jazza was recommending it, and I'm like, you know, I've been in the market for a long time. I'm gonna go with it, and I'm really glad I did. It's it's a really good tablet. I like it a lot. Um, well, oh yeah. Speaking of things I like, I love to read. I love to read stories. Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't say I love to read because I haven't read a book in like way too many years, unfortunately. Um, but I actually no. I did read recently. I take that back. I do take that back. I was reading the Avatar books, uh, the one about Kyoshi. Uh, I, I'm like partway through that, and I've read some of the Moomin books. So I take that back. I have read recently. <laughs> Uh, yes, yes, uh, uh, so Leary, I will uh, tell you my art tag uh, in uh, just a little bit. So yes, you will be able to see those on the, the Twitter. Uh, and then thank you, Crowen, look at you. Uh, fast to the to the quick there, thank you. Um, but I, I do love to read stories, I love to read out loud. Uh, so one of these days, I'm gonna try to read like a, a short story, maybe fan fiction, something like that. Uh, <laughs> Crowen's calling you out, Gorgas. Um, I also want to do some more collabs. I don't think I've really... Well, I've done a couple. Uh, I, I've done a couple, like, uh, collabs with some people doing Gartic Phone and, and things like that. But I want to be able to do more. Uh, so if you ever feel like collab and let me know, I will certainly try to work it out. I'm just really bad with my schedule sometimes. But I do want to do more collabs. And karaoke <laughs> with the next... With the question mark. Uh, we're going to be doing one today because we made the we made the goals. So we're going to do it. Oh, and thank you, Leary. You're so sweet. I really appreciate you. Uh, I like your vibe. Um, but yeah, if I can get the chance to do more karaoke stream stuff, I will. I will do so. And then, of course, speaking of collabs, playing games with Ergo. I've done a couple of those, and I would like to do more of them. So we, we need to find a game to play again, uh, Ergo. All right. What's next? Other info. Okay. So yes, yeah, so Leary, what you, what you probably already saw was the art tag is uh, hashtag Brezzy Art. So that is what I've just started kind of posting it under. Um, and then fan names. I I've been really pressed for fan name. I really don't know what to call all you lovely people. Um, so like some of the ones I kind of was thinking of earlier today were fledglings, treasures, because you are my treasures. You guys are so sweet and kind, and I really appreciate you. Uh, the kind crew. Uh, and other suggestions are welcome. If you can think of anything that makes sense for a, a water dragon like myself, let me know. Um, and I know Ergo was saying I should steal the Game Grumps' Lovelies one. <laughs> um, but I'd feel bad doing that. Uh, I mean, I, it's, it's a, oh, okay. I, I didn't know if you like meant it. Oh, okay. Mm. I like, oh, so Crone, you say you like fledglings and treasures? I might try to do treasures. I might try to do that. Um, and then Cronus, you said that you like, you like both of those as well? Oh, I think, I think we're getting, I think if this is an unofficial poll, it sounds like Treasures is winning. So I might start trying to refer to you all as my Treasures, because you are not inanimate objects, you are your own people. I will never contain you in a chest, but you are, you are a part, you are a part of my, of my, uh, my collection of awesome people. So thank you for being an awesome person. Uh, and uh, becoming a part of my horde. <laughs> Treasure calls out more because dragon and hoarding. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Absolutely. All right. And then credits. So just like Ergo, because I got a lot of the same stuff with Ergo, uh, my model mama is Rico, Rico Chen Art. She is absolutely fantastic. If you ever want model work done, I highly recommend her. Uh, but as Ergo said in his stream, she is booked <laughs> for a long time. So uh, just definitely keep uh, keep an eye on her. And uh, if she gets openings, uh, maybe, maybe give her a look. Uh, and the rigging was done by Ergo. Ergo, give yourself a shout out. Yay. <laughs> but yes, he's fantastic. He did a great job. Uh, and I am very appreciative of it. Um, let's see, the background was done by uh, Filigree Cadaver, also super fantastic, love the work that they do. Uh, the stream layout is a free asset, uh, Lorraine VT uh, made it, awesome stuff, I, I absolutely love it. And the stinger animation uh, that Ergo talked about earlier that you've seen from mine too is by Sp Spooky, is that how you say it? Spooky? Yeah, 
You can just say spooky. Spooky? Okay. Spooky. I was like, I don't know how to say all that. <laughs> and and that concludes. Uh, oh, look at that, Crowan. Look look at him. He's beating you to the punch, there you go. Uh, uh, saying that you're my husband and uh, rigor and tech guy. <laughs> He really is. I, I want to give a shout out to Ergo. He's fantastic. He helps with a lot of stuff because I am very tech basic. And I even had to write a list on like, okay, this is what I have to do for this. This is what I have to do for that. And uh, honestly, I should probably bring that list out again because I have forgotten some of those things. Um, but he is super helpful. If you ever hear a long pause and then something happens, it's because Ergo's walked into the room and he helped me do it. <laughs> um, so big shout outs to Ergo for, for all of that wonderfulness. Um, so now that we are done with our presentation, you can put your number two pencils down. Are we going to... Should we do karaoke, or should we try playing a game first and then save karaoke for the end? What do you think, Ergo? Um, uh, yeah, we can save karaoke. We can save karaoke for the end? Yeah. Mm. Oh, well, here, I'll put it to chat. I'll put it to chat, actually, since you guys are here. Um, what would you like to see first? Would you like to see karaoke first, or would you like to see game first? And thank you so much, Crow, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. <laughs> I like how Leary just said yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes to both. Okay, Crone says game. Game first, Mountain Chicken. You got it. All right. Sounds like we're doing game. Um, End the stream with karaoke. There we go. That's our game plan. We're ending the stream with karaoke. I'm not even 100% sure what song I'm doing. <laughs> um, so the game I was thinking about doing is Among Us. Is everybody okay with doing like a round or two of Among Us? See, that's what Ergo keeps saying, too. Maybe I should do that. Because I was thinking, like, oh, Spongebob songs. <laughs> um, and Weird Al, because I, I I love him. But yes, I, I very well might do Yu Yu Hakusho, honestly. And you guys are down for Among Us? Among Us. <laughs> because nobody, nobody cheat. That's right, nobody, nobody cheat. Nobody cheat, everybody... Don't look at the stream. <laughs> oh god, oh that's true, I didn't think about that. Okay, everybody look at your phone, not the stream. <laughs> oh god. Um, although most people are probably playing on their phone. <laughs> uh, oh no, oh no! I mean, should should we like not? Yeah, don't, don't, don't show that. Hang on, maybe we should. Right here, if you want, because do you have it on your phone? Uh, yeah, yeah, Among Us, I have it on my phone. phone. Yeah, I have it on my phone. There you go, we'll just have... We'll just have Grezzy just on the stream. There we go. That's what we'll do. <laughs> there. <laughs> all right. All right. There we go. I was going to say, like, Among Us is a, uh, it's an easy game to cheat if you just look at the screen. <laughs> um, I'm watching the stream on my phone, but I'll switch over to my iPad. Oh, you're, you're good. Uh, I'm playing it on my phone now, so, so it's all good. So we don't have to worry about people cheating by looking at the, the, the screen. Um... So we need to do the online. I'll set up a, a thing. Oop, I'm hitting it. Okay. Uh, create a game. Uh, oh, private. Oh, oh, well, I have to still host the game. Probably. Okay. So uh, how many people do we think we're going to have? You know, there's you and me. Um, I mean, you could just put it to the max. Could put it to the max? Okay. I'll, I'll put it to max. And have one imposter. And you know what we'll do, since we couldn't do the thing with yours, with the prizes, um, trying to decide, should we do... We can just do that another time. Well, I was going to say, if we did two games... See, I wanted to make that work. I was thinking, like, oh, winner. Uh, oh, but no, that wouldn't work, because if the imposter doesn't win, then it's a group of people that win, so <laughs> it'd be a bit difficult to do. Yeah, we'll, we'll try it for a different game. Uh, but, okay, so for now we're just going to play for fun. So let's... I'm going to go ahead oh, and here. get our room ready. Here. I was, I was thinking, go ahead and play. Huh? Oh, well, why would the phone not be good? Is there a reason that... Some people can, so it's almost real. Oh, that's true. I mean, are we sure? Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay. So that no works. one cheat. <laughs> So now, now we have to worry about cheating again. No one cheat. <laughs> okay, hang on. Let me let me get set up again then. Okay. All right. 
I remember when my friend and I first got into this. Um, we were like playing all day. It was it was wild. Okay. All right, everybody. So, oh here, how do I move? Oh, this is weird with the keyboard. Okay. All right. So we're gonna uh, Ergo is gonna post the code in the chat. Oh, well, that's true. Yeah, it should be visible. But if you're already worried about cheating... <laughs> Hello, Cronus! Oh, but I'm so bad at WASD. <laughs> I'm a noob. Hang on, I might, I might do this. So we'll see, we'll see. Alright, here, let me, let me, let me do this setup stuff. And who is large toe? <laughs> okay, oh, how can I? Okay, there we go. All right. Uh, emergency meetings. We could have more than one emergency meeting. I don't know why it matters. Let's see. Uh, emergency cooldown. Discussion time. Gonna make it about a minute. Uh, voting time. Seems good, I think. Play your speed. Let's see. Okay. I think I think I like the way that's set up. Okay. All right. What? Long cow? Because <laughs> you can't, like, type in a name. That's weird. <laughs> uh, hang on, I'll show you in a second. I, I have to get my flower. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, don't forget to change the... Oh, the stream's category. Yes, I'm glad you said that. <laughs> I almost wrote among is. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh, oh god. Oh god. Go back, go back, go back. What the? There we go. Oh, why did he do that? That is so weird. There we go. There we go. Okay, we got it. And crow in your large toe. <laughs> Does among us have mics? Um, it should. Hang on. Is that something we need to set up? I don't know. I mean, we could just do the, the text. I mean, we could if we need to. Okay. So I've so far got large toe, which is Crowen. Let's see. Oh, and uh, a few seconds ago, Abyss Rainsworth is followed. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate you. And Lyria, is someone with a single brain cell? I know the painter forgetting to change that. <laughs> and Crowan, you're okay with text? Okay. What? Huh? Well, no, I can't move with that. Uh, let's see. Oh, 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 what happened? Let's see. Um, Cronus, oh, thank you for gifting a sub. You gifted it to Misery. Thank you. Much appreciated. You were awesome. <laughs> Mountain chicken, large toe. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know, Ergo. Google search large toe for my lore. <laughs> Um, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, Ergo, what kind of problems are you having? No! Yeah. Should, should I uh, do a different room? Would that help, you think? Right, 
we're, we're giving Ergo a bit of time. Is everybody here, by the way, that wants to be? Uh, minus Ergo, of course. <laughs> Contrary to popular belief, you are a large toe. <laughs> Noted. Noted, Crowen. Yeah. Set chat. Mm hmm. We probably can. I'd be surprised if we couldn't. Oh, here, I could just do this. There you go. <laughs> I can see there's already been some action in the chat there. <laughs> makes no sense. That's weird. Should I just do a different room? Oh, and Misery says it most it mostly keeps saying that I'm disconnecting. And then Leary's saying also if you can't join, check you're in the right server. I do like how Cronus and Large Toe are just like running around. Okay, try making a new room. Okay, guys. So uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna try a new room. So sorry. Uh, so Large Toe and Cronus, you got booted accidentally. Our bad. Uh, we're gonna try to fix it so Ergo can join. Here, oh, here's okay. So we can set chat. Is that what we want? So that that might help. Let's see. Okay, chat is okay. So chat, the uh, the new server code is on screen if you need it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Why does why does the interwebs hate? As you run. All right. There long you know. cow. A long cow. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got long cow, Cronus, Grezzy, and uh, large toe can come back in. <laughs> will it be? Will it be a small crew? Is it going to be us four? I know. Or actually, um, um, you were misery. You were saying that you were trying to join, but it wasn't letting you. Is it now? Mountain Chicken Among Us being sus? Yeah. I, you, see, I've been a little worried about that recently because um, I've been I've been hearing people have been having difficulties getting it to work. And I'm like, no. <laughs> these, little, these pants have stars on them. They're cute. Oh no, are you still having trouble? Oh, and you're still having problems? Hey. Are you sure? Well, I mean, I don't want to start also without Ergo in it, because it's also the three of us. So, I mean, yeah. we could. Oh, oh, you are in. That's right. It's it's uh it's Crowen who uh, isn't in. Let me look at the chat. What's uh the body was in laptop? <laughs> Long cow killed Cronus. <laughs> See, it's not letting me write. Why is it not letting me write? Oh, click on this thing. Oh, uh, oh, uh, oh? Yeah, that's the, that's the big chat thing. Oh, what? <laughs> this is weird. <laughs> Let's see, hang on, what? 
Uh, it's set to quick chat. Reliable packet is uh, instead of free chat. Scuff. The scuff is so real. Why is this happening? Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Among Us, why do you betray me like this? Why? Why do you Tommy me so me? Everyone betray me. And I don't care anymore. Tommy was so. Some year. <laughs> Abyss Rainsworth. Scuff stream is good stream. Yeah, it's either Among Us or our internet that just. Yeah, it's either Among Us. Or... You know. Yeah, it's either it's either our internet or Among Us. And then uh. Misery, you're saying you got the same reliable packet message. Scuff his life. Might be among us. Oh! Oh, you made it! Oh, there you go. You did it! Well, I'm glad that uh, despite, despite everything, you were able to make it in, Misery. So maybe this means, maybe this means now that uh, Crowen will be able to join us as uh, Long Toe. Oh, you're gonna try? Here you go. Here we go, one more time. Crowen's gonna try to join in the game. Large Toe, here we go! Large Toe, here we go! I like everybody's outfits, everybody's looking good. Wee! I'm just running, running around, running around crazy. Everybody's getting all dolled up. What's up, long cow? How you doing? You're looking, you're looking sus over here, long cow. gonna hide over here too. I'm so nervous I'm gonna accidentally like press start. Oh so you weren't able to do it? Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna cheer? You're gonna cheer from the sidelines, Crowen? Alright. Alright. We could do that. That is fine. Um Okay. It was a no-go. I appreciate you trying so hard. Thank you, though, for trying. All right, it, it'll probably be a short one, but the four of us can try it. So let, let's give it a go. Let's give it a go. All right, everybody ready? Uh-huh. Yes, it's fine. We know, game. We're aware. And no worries, Leary. That's okay. All right, everybody, don't look at the screen. Sorry. Don't look at the screen. Don't. Ergo, that's right. Turn around. So oh, no, you got booted. Well, now I grow more nervous.
Also, I just realized it was probably obvious because I had my sound on. What? So you could probably hear the game sound. And you could oh. hear the crewmate noises. <laughs> That's true. Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, always the innocent ones you know. It's true. Oh. Oh. Um. Oh no, it kicked you out. Also, what? There's beans in this game now? Excuse me? <laughs> I have 111 beans. Uh, I guess put them in the uh, the bean room, right, Crowen? What is with these beans? Yeah, and there's levels now. Among Us. What the heck? <laughs> I didn't know this. Uh, since we're since we were having so much trouble playing, uh, I guess maybe one game was enough. <laughs> Um, so I, I hope that everyone's okay. Uh, I know that uh, we tried really hard to, to play, but huh? try you want to try another one? Oh, okay, sure. No, I was saying we could try another time. Oh, another time. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Since uh, since this was kind of scuffed, <laughs> we made do, but I felt bad that we had people kicked out and then uh, just it, it wasn't even a big group because it was hard to join in. So, so we'll try it again another time. Right. Among Us said no. One of these days we're going to have to try. Um, but thank you for our, our cheerers out there. Much appreciate it. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and leave Among Us. Let's go ahead and do that. Bye, Among Us. Okay. And then did I do it right? I did it right! Yay! <laughs> uh, and then I'm gonna change the thing. Um Oh, someone did the bits! The bits! Now I'm just thinking of Steven. The bits! The bits! Uh, <laughs> nah. Among Us killed in stream. Oh my god. <laughs> but, uh, thank you so much for the bits, Grono. Much appreciated. Um, oh yeah, I was gonna write, uh... There you go. I got distracted. There we go. Alright, so we're, we're basically almost done. Just the last thing we're gonna do, since we, uh, we hit our goal, uh, is we're gonna do the karaoke stream. That is that is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. All right. Ergo's gonna help. Oh, am I gonna get the reverb? Let's see. Okay. Is it working? Do I sound like I'm I'm in the bean room? Beans. I love beans! Yay! Alright. Um, let's see, is this it? Or which one? Well see, I want the I want the English. Because I am <laughs> I'm not as good with the other one. <laughs> um See, I think this is a this is a cover. I think that's a cover. Yeah. Hang on. See, why is, how, how is there not a karaoke? Right? I don't know. We'll see what we can find. Uh, we thought we had it, but... Um, hang on. Um, can, we, can we mute the thing real quick so we could, we could test it real fast and see if it is that? Okay, give us one more. We're gonna check some. I feel like this is gonna be a. Oh uh, well, it's the they're actually singing it. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't want that one. They gotta hear my bad singing. Okay, 
with, with lyrics. Let's try that. Oh, nope. <laughs> I mean, that singer is good. Better than me. 100% better than me. And it's a, it's just XO. Let's hear you doing, uh, doing your mom, your Johnny, the Johnny Cash person. <laughs> and I'm glad that you like the reverb. Nope. <laughs> <You're kidding> me. <laughs> I appreciate that you're trying, Ergo. Ergo thought it would be so easy to find a karaoke version of Yu Yu Hakusho that's in English, but all of them have uh, the the actual like singing in it. I could try the Japanese, but I would butcher it so hardcore, so I'd prefer to do the English version. But if we can't do this, we could always choose a different one. Yeah, was there anything else you'd want to... I mean, there's so many. <laughs> See, that one just doesn't have the lyrics. I mean, I basically know the lyrics for the song. Well, here, okay, yeah, we can do... Um... Mm hmm We'll do an... Just find an instrumental version. Mm hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, uh, whoa, hang on. This is the sad music. I know this anime. This is just the sad Wait, music. What? It's doing. Bum, 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 bum. Like it's not the it, it's, music. It's, it's the sad oh music God. in the show. It's like when, oh. when Pooh is carrying the water and everyone cries. Wait, oh, okay, so. Rap God. <laughs> Rowan. Does this have lyrics? No. It doesn't and have the lyrics the right in music? it. Yeah. Okay, okay, so we can just do this and we'll just bring up mm -hmm. the lyrics. There we go. We're doing our own karaoke. That's right. I might I might screw it up a little bit. But I have been watching this show forever, so okay. All right, all right, all right. We're gonna try. Here we go. Let's give this a whirl. Okay, we, we got it. We got it changed. Yeah. Okay. And then here, well, where, where's the lyric thing? Just to make sure I don't screw up the lyrics. What thing? Oh yeah, I'm gonna switch to it. Oh okay, okay. Running in a crowd in a faceless town. I need to feel the touch of the Oh no. Oh, we done. Hang on. Ergo just remembered. That was that was a preview. You're welcome. You get to hear it more than once. We'll, we'll, we'll give it another go. You, you get to hear it more than once. You're lucky. That's right, that was just a preview. Here comes the real one. Running in a crowd in a faceless town I need to feel the touch of a friend In the countryside I wander far and wide The isolation gets me again I don't know where to go When I feel like crying Oh my It's time to open myself Do something new I want to stop And grow up again then suddenly, my power and confidence starts swelling up, magically erupts. And it's all because the kindness that I feel from people I don't even know. Then suddenly, my intuition and my wisdom grow. And then I know that most of all I sense compassion's real. Thanks to strangers wherever I go. Thank you for waking me up. Woo, that was slightly scuffed, but that worked. That was fun. <laughs> Yay! Yay! And thank you, Crowan. Thank you. I'm glad I could wake you up. I'm glad.
Oh, we love you. Oh, we, I love you guys too. You guys are wonderful. And oh, oh Crow and noticed the background music. That's why you turned it off before. I was like, what? <laughs> uh, but you guys are wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. Sometimes I'm good at singing and sometimes I'm really not good at singing. So today was kind of mid ground. I think I was kind of all right. So yay. But I'm glad. I'm glad I could rep that because I, I love that anime so much. It's my favorite. Uh, <laughs> it's just like, so you're pogging. <laughs> oh, Lyra, you're wonderful. Thank you. You guys are, you guys are so stinking awesome. You know that, right? Uh, and thank you, Crowen. Thank you. Uh, I can't match your chops. I can't. I, I, I've heard you sing many a karaoke stream and, uh, I'm humbled. I'm humbled by the, uh, by the, uh, the compliments there. Uh, and Crowen, Crowen's shouting you out too. He's saying, good job, DJ Ergo. Um, but this... Uh, that will that will conclude uh, the debut stream on my end, I think, guys. Uh, so we're actually going to go ahead and get ready to start trying to find someone to raid. Um, but I do want to thank you all again for listening to me ramble for a really long time. Uh, and just for checking both myself and Ergo out. You you guys are amazing. Uh, we we would do this for fun anyway, even if we had no views. But it's, it's amazing that you're able to come here and support. It, it means a lot. You guys are awesome. Aw, thank you. Um, and thank you guys so much. I appreciate all the congrats on the debuts. Uh, I'll be posting some of the pictures uh, on uh, the Twitter. I might even try coloring some of them. We'll see. Uh, but thank you guys so much for the congrats and the compliments. Uh, you, you are what helps us do this. So give yourselves a big thank you too. I want all of you guys to hug yourselves and, and uh, be nice to yourself today. I know that can be hard. So, so do that. You, you absolutely deserve it. And if you need a reminder, I will remind you, you deserve it. Um, and oh, thank you. Thank you, Mountain Chicken. I, I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm glad that you guys have had a fun time and I hope you guys enjoyed the story again. That was all Ergo's writing. So he did a great job writing. I gave him the initial idea of what I wanted and he wrote something really fun. Uh, so I really appreciate that. And then Leary, all right, I want to thank me for me. <laughs> yes, as you should, as you should, as all of you should. Um, so who, who are we finding, Ergo? Did we find anybody? Actually, it looks like Cronus is about to start. Oh, Cronus. Okay, let's do it. Let's go raid Cronus. All right. So we are going to, we are going to raid Stron uh, Stronus. Wow. We are going to raid Cronus. That's not as bad as what Ergo said in his stream last time. <laughs> Aw, well, I'm glad, Mountain Chicken, that you're that you loved all of it, uh, and that humbles me that you like the art as well. All right, everybody, we're gonna go raid. No, oh, oh, I'm not, I'm not pressing anything yet. Don't worry. I know, I know. This is my first rodeo. Oh yeah, yeah. Ergo is reminding me about that. Oh god, hang on, I gotta make this bigger. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. This is this is a grizzly raid. Let's do it. <laughs> 